Back on Sold Out Sports Talk on AFR Talk. Roman Gabriel the Third, your host, and of course you can join us Saturday nights, 8 Eastern, 7 Central Time. Over 200 stations across the country, and you can tune into that at AFR.net to find a station near you. Maybe you're saying, I can't find a station. Well, it's real easy. All you got to do is go to AFR.net. We're streaming live there. If you happen to miss us, you can go to our archive podcast page at AFR.net. That's sold out sports talk. And, of course, hear full interviews from so many of our great guests that we have weekly. Of course, we're all about faith, family, and sports here. Talking about the passion of sports, creating an opportunity not only to love others but to share the gospel and to use our talents and abilities to make a difference in people's lives. My guest coming in tonight, no different than any other that comes in here. He's a high-impact guy. 11 years in the NFL, he won a Super Bowl in 2007 with that great Indianapolis Colts squad. Was a Notre Dame guy when he came into the NFL. He's also got a lot of other interests. He's very. We've had some guys like him on before, but I tell you, he's very interesting. The Hunter Smith Band, uh, this guy loves to play music, loves to minister that way. Uh, he's had a partner before with that, Chris Wilson, who he goes out with. And he's got a new book uh, called The Jersey Effect that came out last week. And uh, you need to get hold of this book, especially if you're a fan of this show, because uh, he might as well call it Sold Out, which is this program. Basically, real-life NFL stories to demonstrate that players' behavior both on and off the field can have profound effects on fans and, most importantly, young players and youth. And uh, this is another guy who spent a lot of time under Tony Dungy, who's been such a great friend to our show and, and to who, who we are here. Uh, former punter, that's right, Colts, Redskins, Hunter Smith's our guest. Hunter, how you doing? I'm doing well, Roman. How are you doing this morning, this, this evening? I should say. Well, blessed and, and great to have you in and so excited to talk about your new book, The Jersey Effect. And uh, with the NFL and so many things that have been going on and changing here in the last two to three years in so many ways, we've talked about a lot of ways by which the principles that you talk in this book not only impact what we do, but most importantly impact who we are. And one of the things that I saw when we were – taking a look at your book and looking at some of the video that we saw on YouTube from you. And we'll tell everybody, you know, how you can get get hold of the book and where you can go to do that. But Tony Dungy makes it very clear he's got four core principles that he likes to get across to his players and that he likes to also take at home and and to the community. Tell us about that. Well, Coach Dungy, he has an incredible comprehensive approach to seeing people become whole. And that is what the Jersey effect is that people need to be, you know, athletically, academically, emotionally, spiritually. Uh, and, and there are so many more than just the four that he talks about. I mean, there are just, he believes in the complete athlete. And that's what through the Jersey effect, we're trying to see happen. People becoming better athletes in the holistic sense, better people, um, better citizens, Better children of God. That's what we want to see happen through the Jersey effect. Hunter Smith, former Colts Super Bowl champion and now author of The Jersey Effect. Uh, this book's available. You can get it at thejerseyeffect.org. Uh, he's also available on Facebook at the Hunter Smith Band and on Twitter at the Hunter Smith Band. And um, we'll talk about that um, here in a little bit. But, Hunter, one of the things that's interesting to me, especially – on this network is we're all about family and American family is about protecting the family, about doing everything to provide the tools for parents to take the best approach for their young people. And most importantly, to introduce people to the savior. And one of the things that you're talking about in this book is being whole. And I know that it's going to help NFL players, but so many of our parents out there are concerned about, their young people getting the right values and getting the right teaching because the schools aren't given it. Uh, many of our churches have forgotten it. Tell me about what you would say to parents out there in terms of how to apply the principles of the Jersey effect. Well, we have gone haywire in our culture thinking, you know, with this idol that is called athletics. Robert. And that's what we're trying to reverse is the idolatry that has become athletics. We have decided um, that our children's importance is based on their performance uh, on, on the field. And we have gone to great extremes to push them in, the, in their sports, 
and uh, you know, to make it more about that than any other God-given purpose or destiny they could have. And through the Jersey Effect, what we're trying to do is offer, provide a proper perspective on sports by people who have been through that whole uh, that whole process and have lived out some of those patterns, both the healthy ones and the unhealthy ones. Um, God has more for us than just sports. Our culture, the world, says that sports are everything, but God says he is everything. That's really what we're trying to direct people back to through the Jersey effect is a healthy life of God. Hunter Smith is our guest on Sold Out Sports Talk on AFR Talk, and you can get the Jersey effect at the jerseyeffect.org is where you can pick up that book. And, of course, Hunter's talking to you on Hunter Smith Band on Facebook and Twitter. And one of the, one of the things that you speak about, which is so true, is, is how do we turn around that idolatry, something that our – more than anything, the United States has a passion for, which is sports and entertainment. There's more money spent on sports and entertainment in this country. We've documented that than any other place, and it really doesn't matter whether we're in the depths of a recession like we are now. You still don't see much of a hit when it comes to the movie theater and when it comes to direct TV and Netflix and DVDs and all the all the different ways that we have to immediately get information in this country. And since you were a kid. When you look at the change that's happened and when you talk about the idolatry, when you look at what's happened in sports today in terms of what's available, the 24-hour news cycle, ESPN, Fox Sports, the Internet, telephones, I mean, how do you keep uh, young young kids out there focused and grounded uh, and sound when, when you have all of these distractions and all of these things in the home uh, that can take away that? My advice to parents, be that you have to model it. And it's something, if we're real honest with ourselves as parents, we're not modeling. We have the TV on all the time. We have it on sports shows all the time. We're listening to sports talk radio in our car all the time. And then we're pushing our kids to be in travel league and to be and to play, you know, soccer on Sunday morning. And, uh, <laughs> You know, we're doing a poor job of modeling it. If we want to see the value, uh, if we want to see our kids value um, a life of serenity, a life of godliness, a life that has margin and uh, and that is, you know, full of resting in God and doing what God has asked us to do, we have to model it ourselves as parents. It's something we're not doing a very good job of right now. Hunter Smith, former punter. Washington Redskins, Indianapolis Colts, our guests on Sold Out Sports Talk. And, again, uh, I would tell you to go out and get this book, parents, especially if you have a son or daughter who's into sports and, and who is, doesn't have to be necessarily talented in sports because some of the foundations of this book have to do with real life. And, you know, we know that sports and real life mirror each, mirror each other. And um, Tony Dungy, of course, wrote the forward for this book. And, Coach dungey has been a great role model for so many players, and, and not just players, but so many people across this country in terms of using his platform and using that 2007 Super Bowl champion club uh, to make a, a statement to people about what how sports connects with life and with spirituality. And Hunter, I, I've talked to so many of you guys. I mean, we've had Ben Utech on this show. We've had your chaplain, Kenny Johnson, on this show you know, I've spoken with Peyton Manning. We've spoken with Coach Dungy, uh, Jeff Saturday. Uh, so many of those guys that made up the core of what I consider to be in this competitive generation of football, you know, maybe the most consistent winning football team in a decade, the Indianapolis Colts. And uh, a lot of people look, ask me all the time, you know, you're around a lot of these teams, and I cover, I think, my 18th Super Bowl last year, and they say, well, what, what team do you think was the most – spiritual football team that you've ever been around and, and invariably you know without even thinking it's that indianapolis colts group well i think that that is is probably true uh on a certain level one of the things roman that i love uh i both love it and i dislike it is i've had people come up to me and say hey we've heard that all of the players and coaches on the super bowl team were christians and it kind of makes me laugh i because the truth is it was a couple of handfuls of men. You know, everybody wants it to be that we had 30 Christians on the team and the whole coaching staff was saved. It was this incredible sort of force and momentum of spirituality. 
But the great thing, and one of the messages of the Jersey effect is that a small light in a large, dark room will light up the room. And even though we were just a few guys, we were in love with Jesus, walking with him, and wanting to see his kingdom advance and glory brought to his name through our lives, through our careers, and through our season with the Colts. And because of that, it cast a big light, and it lit up a really dark institution and helped to light up our city uh, in, a, in a lot of ways here. And I think that that's an important message. I think something you said earlier, it's not just a book for athletes, for great athletes, it's for everyone. God wants us to go and be light in the world. Hunter Smith, our guest, author of The Jersey Effect, that's out, available now at thejerseyeffect.org. You need to push and pull the button, whatever you got to do on the Internet or at the store. It's a Thomas Nelson uh, uh, book, and it's something that you can really uh, sink your teeth into, especially if you're a parent who's concerned about your youngsters, uh, which I know on this network, uh, that's what you're all about. Um, Hunter, I- I've spoken to a lot of the guys you're talking about that were – difference makers and, and role models and uh, what we would call uh, discipleship Christians uh, on that Indianapolis Colts team. But um, you were so close to this, obviously. What would yeah. you say was something about that group of guys that very few people know? Something about that group of guys that very few people know, I would say, is just their, their commitment and their tenderness. Uh, with one another. You know, that is a very rare thing. Men like to keep things very close to the vest and, and like to be kind of quiet and private. And the Bible says a man who isolates himself he, uh, seeks his own desires. And uh, one of the things, one of the great wisdom uh, key points I see from our team is that, and from our coaching staff, one of the things Coach Dungeon modeled well was not just some systematic, new, newfangled accountability you know, thing that we, you know, list of questions we asked each other. It was much more than that. We lived a covenant lifestyle of uh, relationship with one another. It, we actually loved one another and took care of each other and looked after one another. And uh, that's a very rare thing. I, I didn't ever experience it on, on a team prior to that team, and I didn't afterwards either. Hunter Smith, our guest on Sold Out Sports Talk on AFR Talk. When we come back, We're going to talk more about the Jersey Effect, about the Hunter Smith Band, about highs and lows in the NFL, right here on Sold Out Sports Talk on AFR Talk. 